Hello, in this video, I'm going to explain uh, the cellulose digestion of BSc Geology semester 3. So before moving on to this, let me ask you one thing that what do you actually mean by digestion? Digestion, as we all have learned, even in our lower classes that digestion is a process where the breakdown of complex substances into simpler substances is actually what a digestion is, right? So then what is cellulose digestion? Cellulose digestion is a process of the breakdown of cellulose into glucose uh, in the presence of uh, or with the help of a cellulase enzyme. So in this process, as we know that herbivores, these are the organisms which feed upon the plant material. So as the plant uh, material uh, where the cellulose is the major component uh, where uh, it, it is a polysaccharide of glucose in it, uh, which are uh, binded by the glycosidic linkages. Generally, the animals don't possess uh, a gene that is responsible for the production of cellulase enzyme. So that is the reason the animal have a complex digestive system for digestion of cellulose. So unlike other carbohydrates, cellulose uh, cannot be digested that easily. So due to the absence of a gene uh, responsible for the breakdown of uh, cellulose uh, in most of the organisms, uh, generally cellulose can be uh, digested or can be hydrolyzed uh, using microbes uh, like bacteria, fungi and protozoa and many more other microorganisms that can be helpful for the production of the cellulase enzymes. So that results into the uh, breakdown of cellulose. As I have just said that uh, animals uh, lack a gene that is responsible for the synthesis of cellulase enzymes. Breakdown of uh, cellulose. So the organisms like herbivores are uh, have undergone uh, two adaptations for digestion and absorption of uh, cellulose. So the first one is process or to have a large digestive tract. The first adaptation of the organisms is to have a large uh, digestive tract where the food takes time for the digestion and absorption. And the secondly, uh, uh, production of the fermentation chambers production of the fermentation chambers so these uh, fermentation chambers uh, usually possess or contains the microbes that can be helpful for the production of the cellulase enzyme which results in the breakdown of cellulose so during this uh, process uh, there is a two separate uh, production or development of two separate uh, fermentation chambers one is the rumen the other one is the cecum so these uh, are the two separate uh, fermentation chambers that are possessed in the organisms so these organism uh, these chambers usually shelter to a wide variety of micro uh, microbes like the human bacteria or human protozoans human fungi so obviously the ma in mammals if we see cellulose is uh, fermented uh, in two different regions of the elementary canal one is at rumen the other one is cecum or colon so depending upon the site of action uh, the organisms are further divided into ruminants and uh, hindgut fermenters first one ruminant if we see ruminants so the word ruminant is uh, derived from the word ruminare which means to chew again so usually we have already discussed that the herbivore like goat sheep etc usually have a fermentation chamber called as rumen right so such organisms uh, regurgate the food into the mouth and uh, they re-chew it and they re-swallow it so this process is called as rumination and uh, the animals are uh, usually called as ruminants so in order to allow the food to be chewed twice the stomach of the ruminants is complex and it is divided into four chambers so one is uh, rumen second one is which third one is plomasm it's reticulum plomasm the fourth one is abomasm so in ruminants, the food is digested and fermented in the following order. Like in the mouth, uh, the food mixes with the saliva. 
and then uh, it reaches the rumen where uh, the partially chewed and uh, food is actually converted into bolluses uh, bolluses and it is uh, then enters or uh, swallowed into the rumen so in the rumen uh, the powerful muscles churn the uh, churn the food and the microbe starts fermentation process large piece of plant material float on the top of fluid in the rumen and are passes into the reticulum where uh, it gets converted into the small or soft balls called as curds the reticulum also contains uh, microbes which digest the cellulose partially then the curds usually regurgitates the food into the mouth where it is rechewed and re-swallowed then the food then uh, gets transported to the third chamber that is omasum and it is churned again by strong muscle contractions from omasum then it gets uh, uh, transported to the stomach the true stomach or abamosum and finally into the small intestine where the food is digested by the ruminants and are absorbed if the food material is undigested it can be expelled from the body uh, through the fe- in, as a feces then if we talk about the hindgut fermenters in some mammals the fermentation chamber is cecum uh, where microbes ferment the cellulose such animals are grouped as uh, hindgut fermenters and they do not have rumen and they cannot regurgitate the food like ruminants example of hindgut fermenters is horse donkey etc then if we see the mechanism of microbial action uh, for during the process of cellulose digestion uh, is mechanism of microbial action the microbes produce a group of enzymes called as cellulases that are needed to hydrolyze cellulose the microbes uh, break down the cellulose into glucose and these these microbes use some amount of glucose for their survival and most of the rumen microbes are obligate anaerobic so these uh, microbes thrive in an anaerobic environment and they obtain energy from their food by fermentation so the remaining glucose is then fermented by the microbes to produce fatty acid like acetic propanoic and but- butyric acids etc which are then absorbed by the ruminant and uh, use them as a major source of energy co2 and methane gas are also produced by the microbes and are excreted by the host through exhaled air and belching so this is all about uh, the cellulose digestion bow, bow, bow.